watching an LBL review. Cheers. Uh -huh. Thanks, Star. We're going to What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another Queen Sugar review. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Everybody be sure to like, comment, and share. Last night episode was trash. Now, but, it, but it's okay. It's okay because you know, you know, I'm going to try my best to make it entertaining as possible. Um, I mean, I'm going to say this before I get started. Uh, you know, they kind of, you know, they're writing in the whole coronavirus, you know, situation. And I don't really like that. Um, I just feel like that I, I get it is what we're going through. You know, we, you know, we, we, but when I watch TV, especially shows like this, I didn't, I'm looking for some entertainment, man. Fuck that damn Corona for an hour. That's all I'm saying. Fuck Corona for an hour. You feel me? That's all. So I don't want to see too much more Corona, please, please. So anywho, um, we got to start with Nova, y'all. We have to. So anywho, this episode, look. Trying to go and visit Parker to have a, they, they had a meeting schedule with Parker clear her schedule, flew out to New York last minute, Charlie pissed off, whatever. So she called Nova. Nova was like, look, sis, let's have a self care day. Charlie was like, eh, I got some things to do. And so she was like, what about therapy session? So Nova is nervous about meeting Calvin's family. As you should be. Listen, I'm going to just keep it real now. And y'all tell me how y'all feel, but I got to keep it real. As a man or woman, if I'm dating a Caucasian, white person, you understand me? And they tell me, Al, Nova, I want you to meet my family at my granddad, 69, or seven, you know, 70th birthday party. I would probably say, hell no. Not no, no, no. Granddad too old for me. He might not want to fuck with this one. He he might not fuck with you know. He might not fuck with this one. You feel me? So I no 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 no. That was listen. That was strike number one. Listen, we have come a long ways, but god damn it, we still coming. I ain't going to nobody. No, you know. Listen, no. In, in this situation, no Caucasian white person, 69th, 70th, older birthday party. I don't know how they feel about me. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, so she nervous, rightfully so. So, anywho, let's get to it. They arrive. You feel me? He introduced Mama first. Mama had the fake, right? Mama telling how gorgeous she is. The dress look good. Whoop the whoop the whoop. And so, uh, fast forward. You know, he going introduce Nova to Grandpa. You know, who birthday it is. Now, here's the problem. Listen, when I get, you know, if the Lord bless me to be an a be of age, 69, 70 plus years old. The only way I want y'all, you know, I almost said so. The only way I want people to throw me birthday parties is if I'm if I'm able to move around and scrub and enjoy it. If I gotta do like grandpa and sit my ass from down swing while everybody else got there getting their BBQ and Coronas and Heineken's on, don't throw me no goddamn party. Don't, don't, don't. So he going in uh, introduce Nova to grandpa, and grandpa is just cutting. He like no damn way he want a nigga up in my goddamn house. Grandpa looked like he was not happy about he wasn't too intrigued about seeing Nova. Meanwhile, over in the cut, grandma is giving a little stank out of the little side eye. And then he introduced Nova to his daughter, Emily. He has Emily a necklace and she uh, he tells Emily Nova picked it out and Nova put the necklace on the girl. The girl loved the necklace. The little girl is nice. I love the girl. And grandma is just looking with disgust, like, Ugh. I know you ain't got that black girl touching your daughter, my grandbaby. So, fast forward, boom. He introduced Nova to the son. Now, clearly the son, the son more like granddaddy. Yeah, he went too far into a black woman. Then, all of a sudden, the grand, this ain't nobody with the grandmama, because, you know, granddaddy don't do all this now. The mama that, that invited the ex-wife, and, of course, she came to make a show. She gonna tell Nova, how does it feel being the other woman? Oh, just know you ain't the first. He has a type, and normally they're thicker than you. God damn! So, so, so you trying to make her like a fool? But your dumb ass been getting cheated on all these years by different women. Oh, uh, you the dumb bitch. So Calvin was like, she's the only one I ever been in love with. Everyone else, and I do mean everyone else, has just been 
passing time by. And I'm just like, I'm you, Calvin, boy, you stood up for my, you, you stood up for the sister. I, I appreciate that. So they leave. Um, the next day they walk in. Nova can't shake the feeling that she ain't that she's not the first piece of chocolate that he didn't got because the ex wife told Nova, you really ain't him tight. Like he like him thicker, but he also like him, you know, like black of the berry. And you know, Nova didn't tell her that you know she didn't watch herself, but Nova just couldn't shake the feeling that she wasn't his first black girl. And I'm just like, girl, let it go. I mean, just let just let it go. Like you you got him, you won. He tells you he loves you. You the first one. Like he, you know, he he says the right things. Like, why are you tripping, boo? Why? Nova don't do this. So that was Nova's situation. So, anyways, moving on. This episode um is parents weekend at Xavier. Michael has invited his mom, obviously Charlie's dad, and Kiki already go to school there. Um, and uh, he tells them to meet him in the yard. They won't be able to miss him. So, uh, you know, they arrive in the yard. And Kiki tells Charlie she's going to go talk to a friend uh, from class. And then Charlie and Davis, they go, you know, to, you know, where the steppers at. You feel me? And Charlie's like, wow, I can't believe Michael is missing all of this. Like, where is he? And, you know, it was their little probate. Michael came out. You feel me? His frat name is Showtime. I don't know how he got that name, y'all. I think they stole it from You Got Served. I know You Got Served, but Stomp the Yard, because ain't nothing about Michael Showtime, in, in my opinion. But, uh, of course, Charlie is upset that he joined that particular fraternity because of the reputation that they have as, you know, thugs, gangsters, bad guys, etc., etc. And so she asked him, you know, did he even consider joining the fraternity that his dad was a part of? And he said they did not want him. And I mean, I mean, your daddy kind of cool. Like, Michael, you cool and all, but you ain't, you know, you ain't, you know, you ain't effortlessly cool. You feel what I'm saying? And so uh, we watching the show, you know, my old lady, she talking about Kiki over there cheating in the cut. Now, Kiki probably just tired of Michael, in my personal opinion. This is why you don't date seriously in high school and both of y'all go to the same college because it worked out for some people but it ain't gonna work out for Micah because the reason she fell for you is because you was different than what she was used to you know you was kind you was you know a thinker and now you just kind of diving into what she's already used to you know like a jock or a, you know just a cool guy or a frat guy so you know, Kiki probably going to leave his ass and I ain't even mad at her. You feel me? I don't, I don't really like Michael like that, but, uh, you know, she probably going to leave his ass. And so he asked her who was the guy she was with, uh, you know, at his probate. And she told him a guy from class, you know, his father owns a mechanic shop or a, a car dealership or something. So he definitely got some competition. So we'll see how that goes. So anywho, this episode... Darla, we find out uh, that Darla is up for a, prom a promotion at work and she gets very intimidated uh, during interviews. So Charlie gives her, you know, a few tips, some advice on how to have a good interview. Basically, you know, have confidence, exude confidence and let them know that I, that you guys need me. I would be an asset to you guys, you know not more so the other way around and so you know she's practicing what she's gonna say in the mirror and things like that and ralph angel he ain't making it no goddamn better um because he talking about some fuck them if they don't hire you you're like no 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 no, no. We, we, we're trying to get a promotion more money because your ass broke so ralph angel chill out we ain't got time for all of that so um anywho uh, also, this episode, Prosper tells Hollywood he's a little nervous about the virus because it's taking out older people like himself, and you know that's just not the way he want to go. Hollywood tells him, you know, that virus gonna come through all of us before it get to you. <laughs> that ain't gonna be so Hollywood. So, anywho, so Charlie, she, you know, she gets a text about having uh, an emergency meeting with the CDC. And basically, uh, they decided to shut the community down for two weeks. 
Um, and so she gives Aunt Vi a heads up on her date night with Hollywood. Aunt Vi came in that thing with a le uh, with, a, with with a suede crop. I think it's a crop top, which you put around your neck, and a, and a jean skirt. You know, they was recreating their first date. You know what I'm saying? That was pretty cool. But uh, Charlie gives her a call, basically let her know they're going to shut down Vi's pies for a minimum of two weeks. Um, to basically, you know, stop the spread of the virus. So. Yeah, but uh, anyways, that's pretty much the episode. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, not too much happened. Um, it is what it is, but you know, it's a slow. You know, originally, when I first started watching Queen Sugar back, originally when it first aired a few years back, I couldn't get into it because it was so slow. And then finally, I was like, let me just give it a chance and it gets better. Now, I'm hoping that this season, it's starting off slow, but hopefully, we, you know, it, it, it can catch some traction and give us some uh, interesting storyline. But that's all I have for you guys on Queen Sugar. Um, if I left out anything, y'all let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you're new, be sure to subscribe. Everybody, be sure to like, comment, and share. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace. Hey, appreciate you for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all of the other Arab Beer Review videos.